is that um, I will first discuss um, the FIPS section, um, uniform convergence, and then go back to section number four um, to discuss the, the power series suspension and the need function. Okay, um, so. So, so, um, so this is the first 
it is the stronger version uh, than the ordinary convergence. Uh, because uh, in ordinary convergence, we talk about a convergence point-wise. So, so we are given a point E, right? And, uh, and for every epsilon, there exists an integer. And this n depends on epsilon, and also on C. Okay? To satisfy uh, this inequality. But um, if you want the sequence converges uniformly, then, then, then we require that uh, this inequality is true for all Z in E and for all N greater than the capital N. So in graph, uh, I think uh, it's, it's just, just like a um, uni uniform. Um, so suppose that uh, so we can see the spiral case that uh, uh, this is E. Okay, and uh, so we say uh, so this is the uh, f of x then uh, we set uh, but this is this is saying that uh, um, maybe uh, this is a You may have uh, this term. Fx properly Okay, so 
Now it is it is clear that um, converges uniformly in and uh, G of Z is a bounded function on E. Then the new sequence F and G times G Z. Okay, so you multiply each function and by the bounded function gz then this new sequence also converges uniform okay The reason is that if G of Z is less than equal to M, okay? so we assume that G of Z is bounded, uh, means that we can find a positive uh, number of capital M such that uh, the X value of G of Z as an upper bound. Then, then for every epsilon minus F C. Now the limiting function should be F Z times G Z, of course, right? So this one uh, is less than or equal to G Z times Z minus F Z. Okay, so it's less than or equal to M times epsilon. Okay? So you can make epsilon quite small. So if, if you want, uh, the precision is small. So we call this one, so we call this one to be epsilon prime. Okay? So if you want the epsilon prime to be very small, then you can find an N, right? Big enough. Alright, so we can so that uh, so that uh, the convergence of this sequence go to this limiting function of the uniform okay, for every point z in the defining domain capture. Okay, so this is the reason. Alright, so now we will develop a series of theorem to elaborate the concept of uniform. Uh, convergence. Okay. So first of all, uh, it is called the Cauchy criterion. And for uniform convergence. Sequence of 
Justify uh, by the uniform convergence by definition, you have to you have to know the limiting function, right? You have to know if you want to apply uh, the definition, then, then you have to know the limiting function at first, and then all you at least you guess the function as the limiting function and check if this is true. Okay, so you have to know that. Cauchy's criterion, Cauchy's criterion does not require to note the limiting function first. Okay. So that's why Cauchy's criterion is so useful. For all f from zero, there exists uh, n in the set of all kinds of integer such that Fn z minus Fm z. Okay, so the difference for any two member function is less than no? for all z in E and uh, for all n m greater than equal to capital N. Okay, and again, this capital N uh, depends on epsilon only. Um, so, unfortunately, <laughs> um, it belongs to, okay, it's quite uh, similar to epsilon, okay. Actually, they are different, but uh, by my handwriting, they are quite similar to each other, okay, in simple. Alright, so, um, so this is the, the Kochi. Uh, criteria. You don't need to know uh, the limiting function first, right? You don't need to know that. You just uh, compare, take the difference of two member functions, right? And and to see that the difference is less than the prescribed uh, the data epsilon for all the z on the domain. And uh, for all n and m, greater than equal to a capital N. If this is true, then we know that this sequence converges uniformly. Uh, e. Okay, uh, so this is the uh, uh, quite. Um, and the proof actually uh, um, quite similar to. Uh, 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 the Cauchy criterion for infinite sequence of uh, compass numbers quite similar to that. Okay, because um, I don't have enough time, so I, I admit the proof. And actually, the proof uh, is provided in my additional notes. But so this is uh, so the, the significance of uh, the, the Cauchy criteria uh, is just what I have emphasized that, that uh, you don't need the the limiting function f of z at first. Okay. Do you have questions? Okay. All right. So now the, the second theorem B uh, is about uniform convergence and continuity. So we let an infinite sequence of complex function, right, converge in f of z uniform. 
subset E of the complex finite. Right? So suppose that we know this infinite sequence converges to Fz uniformly. Right? Now, if f of nz, okay, so if all these component functions are continuous from E, then, then the limiting function is also continuous from E. So that it means that uniform convergence implies continuity. Okay. So there are many, many sequences of, there are many examples of infinite sequences of continuous functions. So you may have uh, a sequence of continuous functions. Eh? And uh, this, this sequence converge to Fz for every point J and D. But not uh, even uh, convergence, converges to Fz. In this case, then f of z is not uh, continuous. Okay, so there are examples that uh, without the uniform convergence, uh, the limiting function may be, may be continuous or may not. Okay, there is no conclusive uh, uh, result for that. But uniform convergence gives you the sufficient condition for the limiting function to be continuous. Okay? And it is quite useful. Alright. Okay. Now we'll consider infinite series for an infinite series.
And so the nth partial sum function actually it is the sum of the first to the n uh, component function. Now, the infinite series is said to converge uniformly. Define uh, uniform convergence of infinite series by using the sequence of partial sum functions. This is the standard definition about the convergence of, uh, uh, of uh, infinite series. Um, so, and now we define uh, uniform convergence by using uh, uniform convergence of partial sum functions. The limiting, the limit function, the limit function f of z is called the sum of the infinite series. function. Then this new infinite series converts uniformly. All right. So let me say to this V. Similar results parallelly for um, even series. The important thing is that G of G should be a bounded function. Okay. All right. So we have. So we will have uh, Cauchy criterion for infinite. When you want to open, you can the infinite series. Because we use, we use uniform convergence of partial sum function to define uniform convergence of infinite series. 
So now we have uh, an infinite series of complex function. Okay. Now the infinite series coverage is uniform. If only if for all of the data such that F then plus one Z, F then plus two Z, F then plus three Z, okay, this then epsilon for all and for all. some sequence, the sequence of partial sum function converges. Mm -hmm. Now, by theorem, uh, point by point quality sequences, so A, okay. The A means that the Cauchy's criterion for uniform convergence of an infinite sequence. So we apply to this infinite sequences of partial sum functions. So, so we have for all epsilon where n is zero, we have exist the n epsilon in the n okay, such that such that um, the partial sum Say that m is greater than n, right? So maybe well, maybe. Okay. And uh, but is equal to F and the difference of the partial sum is equal to the sum of the component function Okay, starting from n plus 1 up to n. Okay, and uh, let 
m equal to n plus p. Right? So then m equal to n plus p, so you have this inequality. So this one here, this term actually is the difference of two partial functions, two sum functions, right? Okay. So so the theorem fifteen point five point c actually uh, it can be deduced from directly from the theorem fifteen point five point eight. Any questions? So, now, a power series. series is a special kind, just a special kind of uh, of uh, infinite series of complex functions. We study power series in Actually, this infinite series converges absolutely, absolutely. Okay, you know the meaning. So, absolute convergence are different from uniform convergence. Yeah, different. Because absolute convergence um, means that point y for every z, for every z, okay, for every z in this open disk, the absolute value of term, okay, form infinite. Series which converge. So, so, so convergence absolutely actually is a pointwise convergence concept. Okay. Not like a, a convergence, uniform convergence. Uniform convergence is not pointwise, it is the, on the whole domain. Okay. The next theorem for a connected concept particularly for power series. Okay, so the next theorem shows that shows that 
the past areas and power converges uniformly. The remark here is that it is possible that that, that um, the power series. Consider the whole of this. Right? We know that the, the power series converges absolutely, right? Um, on the open disk. Means that the, the power series converges for every point uh, in the open disk. Yeah. But if you want to talk about the convergence uniform, uni convert uniform convergence means the, something shared by all points in certain subset. In that, then the power series can only converge uniformly in any cross disk, okay, inside the, 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 the open disk. This open disk, inside this disk. Okay. And it, it can be included boundary, no problem with that. But in any case, so, so that is, so if this is Z0, This is your low here. Now you can include the, the boundary. Here. This is R here.
Okay? So inside, inside the closed disk, right, the power series converges uniformly. Okay, so there's no problem with that. But by the power series does not converge uniformly, right, in the whole open disk with radius. So, okay? So uniform convergence, absolute convergence are different concepts. So, so I hope that you already know how to distinguish them from each other. Because partial sum is sum of finite number of continuous functions. And you know that the sum of two continuous functions also continuous. Right? So the partial sum functions are all continuous functions. And we know the partial sum function converge to, to the sum xz uniformly. So of course x of z is, is continuous too. Alright? Remark again, uh, even and even this series of continuous function. Serious converges absolutely to a function. Right. Even though we know the infinite series converge and n of continuous function, f of h f of n, f, uh, f sub n z is continuous, and we know this is infinite series converges absolutely. For every means that for every z uh, in E, uh, this infinite series of complex number converges absolutely. Even though this is the case, S z may not be continuous. 
on on E. Let's see. of the sum functions actually is the sum of the line integral of each component function. So basically, <coughs> you can exchange the image sum and the, the line regression. You can interchange that. And that would be very convenient in many, many applications. And, and for here, and for here, we need the only uniform convergence. Okay. So you need the uniform convergence. But once you test the uniform convergence of uh, this series, human series, to the sum on a range of uh, paths, then you will uh, have this nice result. Okay? You will have this nice result. And, and that is you, you will see that this nice result is actually very useful. Okay, I also give uh, a, a, a proof uh, in my lecture notes. So let, let's take a short break for five minutes now.